My name is Chip Wade and I attended the Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering from 2001 through 2005. My family is actually very talented. Uh, they've taught me so many things and fueled my passion for renovation, construction, design, all the things that I spend all my time doing now and love, I was introduced to very early on. When I was looking at schools to attend and programs to be involved in, mechanical engineering really set itself apart because it was so broad. Uh, it was the one engineering field that I found that touched on so many disciplines, but yet put it into a curriculum that you could study and have access to all the best equipment and facilities uh, in one location and let your mind kind of take you with, to whatever you're interested in. When I arrived, uh, it was a different world. I was not surrounded by people from the Southeast United States. I was surrounded by an international camaraderie of students, ones that came from all over the world with a specific desire to learn and to succeed. So while that's inspiring, it's also very challenging. It really forces you to raise your level of commitment to education. It's a challenge, but ultimately it forces you to sharpen yourself and so you can succeed postgraduate. I, like many other students at Georgia Tech, are very uh, analytically minded. I'm very focused and driven, and I love to have a plan. I was so motivated, in fact, that I was able to attend a whole co-op program while I was at Georgia Tech. So by the time I got my undergraduate degree, I had already worked full time for two straight years. This really did help me jump into the workforce uh, with an upper hand. I started out in uh, an electrical engineering field, believe it or not, even though I studied in mechanical engineering, because you can do that, because you can do basically whatever you want with this degree. Uh, and I designed um, uh, antenna for fighter aircraft. So this is one thing, if you don't know exactly what you want to do, uh, it's a perfect broad scope which credentializes you in many different fields. After I uh, dabbled in an electrical engineering career for a, a little while, I moved on to my real passion, which was construction and design, and I got a, a position as a structural engineer with a custom home builder. That's what I was doing when I was fortunate enough to get cast uh, on a television show uh, as a contractor. One of my best memories from my curriculum at Georgia Tech was my systems engineering class. This is a class that you take uh, in your junior year, uh, and it's after you've taken all of your core curriculum. So you've taken all of your calculus, all of your physics, you've got all that knowledge that you have and you don't know what to do with it. This is the one class where it finally hit me. I remember I had a professor, his name was Dr. Singhose, an incredibly talented guy. Um, one of those guys that you wouldn't think a professor at an institution you would want to be like, but he would be that guy. And you want to listen to him. The fact that he is so intelligent and motivated to share that knowledge with you, and at the same time it all comes together, it really gives you motivation to say, okay, I can actually make a career of this and do what I want and feel confident that Yes, I'm really smart, I understand it, and I can use it. I found that most of my biggest successes have stemmed from a lot of big challenges. My education at Georgia Tech was a big challenge. It is a taxing four years, uh, but it's worth it because the environment that you're surrounded by, it's not adversarial, it's a challenge. It is heavy, it's intense, it's one that you should not go into lightly. It should be a strategic decision for your future. The beauty is what you learn from that is something you cannot learn outside that environment. So it's an arrangement that forces you to be your best. And ultimately, that's what you need to take it to the next level in order to succeed in life after school. On a day-to-day -day basis, I get to do a lot of great things. I keep a lot of irons in the fire on purpose because I like to keep things fresh. I am fortunate enough to be the host, designer, and contractor on a television show. Uh, I run my own design build firm where I do design all over the country. Uh, the beauty is I get to dabble in a little bit of everything. I also am a husband and a father of two young children who now are keeping me busy building my own dream home. I give a lot of credit from what the Woodruff School degree has given me to where I sit right now. It teed me up so perfectly to do what I didn't even know I wanted to do yet. And that is such a 
profound uh, situation to be in and one that I'm so grateful for now that uh, it just affords you so many opportunities, gives you the freedom to explore what it is that is your passion or that you don't even know that your passion is yet. And that is associated with a value that you can't really put a dollar figure towards.